Hey nerds, what's up? So I was going to film a bookshelf reorganization video and then I accidentally did it thinking that my camera was filming and it was not even on. So instead we're going to do a bookshelf tour, but I'm going to do it in a way that doesn't make me take everything out because I just redid it. Let's get into it. So this is the first shelf here on the left. And the way I have it set up is that this whole left shelf is mostly unread and then my right shelf is mostly red. Starting off here, we have kind of my weird shelf. <laughs> it's not really, it's kind of just a jumble. And basically it's like anything that could be dystopian, like magical realism goes up here. Anything that's a little bit not quite fantasy and not quite contemporary is up here. First off here is Ready Player One, and this book I've actually already read. I'm also really excited to read The Edge of Everything. Salt to the Sea is one of the ones I've already read. Some of these books are magical realism. I know that Apocalypse of Elena Mendoza is, and Wild Beauty is. This is a graphic novel. Then here, um, on the... <laughs> The thing, I have my 2016 ballot with my I Voted sticker, and this I think is from when I voted for Bernie Sanders. I have my giant conch shell, which does work. You can do the conch shell call on it. Um, I got this in Hawaii. And then I also have this tiny little guitar pin that came in a box of some sort, and I don't remember which one. Here I have kind of my general shelf of contemporary. Some of these don't always quite fit. Like Caravelle honestly should be up here, but it's fine. These are generally my contemporaries. This one I just recently got. Graphic novel, like short story set of rebel ladies who rocked the world. So it's a set of historical information, but in really beautiful graphic novel versions. It's amazing. Really excited to read When Dempo Met Rishi. None of these I think I've read. Elf is all kind of another hodgepodge. Classic, different books that I had to read for school. There are some borrowed books on here. So basically all of these are actually books that I have borrowed. Most of them from my friend Kelsey, but some of them from other people. I have a huge pile of stuff that I've gotten over the years. Samplers and like notes from authors and things from book boxes and whatnot. I have two post secret books back here and the Big Wicked playbook. Book of the Month, Grimm's Fairy Tale. One Who Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest is another classic. All of these were textbooks that I had to read during the time that I was in college for anthropology. I have William Shakespeare's Empire Striketh Bath. This is o the only book that I ever tried to buy Matt because I just want him to like books, okay? My cap from when I graduated with my BA. This shelf is also on my unread shelf. Some of these I have read though. Again, this is just like generally my unread shelf. I have some awesome Febreze here because my cat's litter boxes are very close to my bookshelves so it stays over here. Pumpkin juice. You need the dark to see the light Batman candle that I got with Batman over here along with some Wonder Woman pins that I got from when I got Wonder Woman. I have my Cersei Lannister pop that I just recently got in Seattle, as well as a little baby Daenerys Targaryen that I got in a pop, I mean in a book box, and my Kindle, as well as this mug that I got in a box. It says, behind everyone's um, favorite song is an untold story. This holds all of my bookmarks. George R. R. Martin collection. I have read all of them except for A Dance with Dragons. My second to last shelf on my unread shelf is here. So my Miss Sassy Cassie jar that has the TBR jar in it just recently got moved over here, but it's gonna go up for now. Dracula and Sherlock Holmes. These are my only two classics that really should be up on this top shelf but they just don't fit. This is a lot of series. Um, most of them are either finished or trying to get finished. <laughs> and I don't mean read, I mean they're all unread, but like that I own them all. I don't actually know if Grasshopper Jungle is a series. Three books in the Lunar Chronicles, the Starbound Trilogy. I just recently got these. These are some books that aren't series, I don't think, but they just am running out of room on my shelves. So last but not least on my unread shelf is this shelf, which is one of my favorites on this side of the bookcases. And this is series that I've started but not finished. So I obviously have all of my Mortal Instruments, but I haven't yet read The Bane Chronicles, so that's why that's there. I've read Aberrett, but I haven't read the sequel. I've read Nevernight, but I haven't read God's Grave. 
I've read Truth Witch, but I haven't read Rin Rich or any of the rest of the series. I actually haven't read either of these, so realistically they should go up there, but um, there's no room. Red Six of Crows, but not Crooked Kingdom. Currently reading this. I think it's a series because there's a number one on Goodreads. I've read Curse of the Sphinx but not Demigods and Monsters. I haven't read either of these but I have read The Treatment and I've read A Darker Shade of Magic. These are the ones that start to get funky too. They honestly should be up on one shelf. This is a picture of Inej and Kaz. This shelf is kind of my classics my very like important books to me as well as textbooks um, it's just kind of, again, a hodgepodge. I have the Hamilton up here as well as, so like all of these are fiction. Night Film is up here because I just didn't really know where to put it. Through the Woods is a graphic novel that I also didn't know where to put it. These books are all fiction but they are like historical settings or they're just like really like prevalent books as well as these. Deaf Like Me is about a girl who grew up, she was deaf and it's about the parents deciding if she's gonna go to oral school or if she's going to learn sign language which is a huge debate in the hearing versus deaf community. Deaf people need sign language. ABCs of LGBT+. There's some children's stories over there, there's some playbooks, things like that. On this shelf before we start looking at the books I have my favorite little boy. His name is Gavin. He's one of my really good friends, son. And then I have my Cassie box. This was from my best friend Bailey when she asked me if I would be her maid of honor. I have this mask that I got in an, a book box of some sort. I don't remember which one. Also all contemporary, but most of these I have read. Some of my favorites were Seas of Sh Snow by Carenza Jennings. I got this in exchange for an honors review, so there is a review up on my channel, historical fiction, but basically all of these are no magic involved. You need to check this book out. It is self-published, so you can't find it anywhere like, you know, Barnes & Noble or anything like that, but wow, it's amazing. The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue is up here, Where Things Come Back is also an amazing story. These are all just really amazing. I also really love that We Were Liars. I got to meet E. Lockhart at Y'all West this year. My Sister Rosa by Justine Larbier is about a five-year-old or like six-year-old sociopath and her brother is trying to prove that she is. We're starting to get to some of my favorite books. I have a Belle Pop, uh, Beauty and the Beast Pop. I have this little card that has all of the different books that you have to have for Harry Potter. And I have this random skeleton that was supposed to only be a Halloween decoration and then it stayed on my shelf because I forgot about it. Ugly series, the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo series, the Selection series, his Dark Materials series, which is the Golden Compass, and of course the Twilight series. Those are all some really amazing series that I just, I've always really loved. Some of them I grew up with, like this one and Twilight. Some of them, like the Selection, are a newer group. And then of course I have Carry On on here and The Tombs, which I was sent for for review, Because You Love to he Hate Me, which has all of the wonderful booktubers in there. Moving on to my favorite shelf on my entire section of bookshelves is my Harry Potter shelf. And it's the one with the most amount of shit. A little Harry Potter broom. Finally got my letter to go to Hogwarts. This Most of this all came in the Magical Lit Joy Crate edition, the first one that I won from them. So it has like the actual letter acceptance to Hogwarts. I also have the entire Martyrs map, but I have no idea where to put it because it's like the real one from Harry Potter world and I need to like get it framed but the frame is expensive. Pumpkin juice candle, a little knight from the first one, a little ring that's gotten all fucked up from being stepped on and stuff but it has the um, the stag in it. McGonagall pop type thing, bookmarks. I used to have a Hermione too but I don't know where it went. And a Harry and a Ron. I have another candle that's called Wizard's Pub and another butter beer, a Hedwig in a cage. Here's my other Hedwig. Hi! A Hedwig mug and a butter beer mug. This I did also get at Harry Potter World. And I have my Time Turner. This was my grandpa's. Um, my grandpa passed away when I was nine, so that stays up there. And then this I also got in that Lit Joy Magical Crate edition. It's actually the like explanation of what everything is, but I like the art on the top. This series I got a long time ago, bought myself a copy because I moved out of my parents' house 
I guess that would have been when I was 20. Bailey, my best friend, got me that set. This shelf is also stuff that you now see all the time. We are down at the bottom and I normally sit in front of these shelves. Glenagerie like thing. It used to light up. I have my Mrs. McGonagall wand. Oh. Up on my Harry Potter shelf, I also have a Bellatrix Lestrange wand. I also have my platform nine and, nine and three quarters ticket, Harry Potter glasses, and a very cheap wand over there as well. My Throne of Glass series, as well as the Court of Mist and Fury, uh, Court of Thorns and Roses series. Court of Frost and Starlight is also up here, just like chilling. And lastly, again, you guys see this uh, shelf quite often, but I have my Mortal Instruments series as well as the first book in the special edition set. Normally my set of the Infernal Devices would also be here, but I actually just unhauled the one set that I do have and I'm getting a new set that matches these and dear lord god knows where they're gonna go because obviously I'm running out of space. I also have obviously the two books of the new series. My Dreams of God and Monsters is missing because Lauren has it, my sister. Strange the Dreamer is amazing. Tithe is hidden back here as well. And yeah, all of these books are just books that I really love. These are the only ones that like, I don't absolutely love these books, but they are good, so they're here. I would have all of these if I just thought to buy them, but I also think that I want to buy the new covers of these. Although, could they please stop changing the covers every time a new book comes out? That would be fan-fucking-tastic. Oh, you're so cute. You just love being held. You let me do whatever you want because you're a little rag doll. Okay, so that was my bookshelf tour. It was kind of a mess. I am very sweaty. I did an unhaul. I reorganized my video, my bookshelves that I didn't film. Still so angry about it. And now you have an updated bookshelf tour for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every time I make a video. That would be awesome. Comment down below what book on my unread shelf are you surprised that I haven't read yet. And I will see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye! I wish I